Hey everybody, Kevin England. It's October 22nd, Sunday afternoon. It's about quarter of 12 here. Uh, myself and Jim Schmalz going to do some work on my hives this morning. Going to do some mic checks for these and we're going to do some oxalic vaporization treatments. We're going to take you through that and show you how it works. So let's go ahead and get started. They look healthy though. Yeah, so Jim and I are looking through the hive. Jim's got a prude frame. We're about to take a sample off of this. We wanted to double check that we don't have a mite or a, a queen. But one of the things we see is we see frass, evidence of mites in the cells that have emerged. We're seeing little white crystalline at the top of the cells. So even though this was treated earlier in the year, I have to assume that we've got some mite issues going on here and it's going to need a touch up. So we're going to ahead and take a sample off of this. We'll look one more time to make sure that we don't have the queen and then we'll take an alcohol wash sample. And there's yellow jackets everywhere here today. They're all over the place. Proof is in the jar. So after you do your treatments, you got to check and see whether or not your hives still have mites. This was just treated with Apivar and it's done with the treatment. And the hive for all intent and purposes looks healthy. I saw a decent brood pattern, it's got plenty of resources, a lot of bees, but it's got a phenomenal amount of mites. A lot of mites. So doing this late season touch up is... I think, you know, you're just going to have to do it. You're going to have to check and make sure. Who knows where the mites came from? Was the treatment effective? Who knows, right? But the bottom line is we got to take care of mites or this hive's not going to make it till spring. So we're going to go ahead and do this oxalic treatment on this hive. Yellow jackets, they're everywhere. So here we're going to show you the oxalic acid setup for vaporization. You'll notice we have two vaporizers here. This one's Jim and this one belongs to me. I bought it used at EAS. I'm going to use it for the first time today. We of course have a power supply. One that you might use to jump a car. And this is the connector for the oxalic acid vaporizer. It connects to that. Oxalic acid or wood bleach in powder form. You'll note that it's not in its original container. The container for this had a plastic lid and the container wasn't working. The lid wasn't working right, so we switched it out. Have a scale and a half inch, half teaspoon measure. When I turn the scale on, it's going to tear the weight and not count what's there. And it's set to grams. So it's zeroed out right now. We'll take our measurement. We want to use a half teaspoon. It's one gram per deep, and we're doing two deeps, so a half teaspoon should measure, measure out to two grams. So there's a level half teaspoon, and it's two grams. So we're all set. This is what we're going to vaporize. The way you do this is you put the power to the vaporizer. This will melt. It takes about three minutes and then it circulates through the hive. You leave it for about 10 minutes and then you could do another hive. So let's go ahead and show you actual uh, treatment for a hive. So one thing about this hive is that it's already set up for fall. It, we have some cool nights going on and this hive already has the entrance reducer on. I don't necessarily want to take that out and therefore the oxalic 
vaporizer will not fit in the entrance. The other thing about doing it this way is you tend to burn up some bees and I'd like to avoid that. So what I'm going to do is I have this screen separator board that I came by and this is the way we're going to set it up. I'm going to take an inner cover and tape it up and I have the oxalic acid vaporizer sitting inside that hole and as you see we can light it up in here. So I didn't really want these bees in here. I probably should have waited before I put the box on the top. But I'm going to smoke the top of the hive and see if I can clear them out so that they're not directly involved in this. So there's one other really important thing before we light this up and it's this right here. So this is a mask and I am going to put this on. It has the proper filters and it should protect us. I'm obviously not going to stand inside the plume but for what it's worth, I am going to put this on. Uh, the, the other proper thing is you should have acid gloves when you're doing this. All right, let's go ahead and light it up. Okay, we have the box all set up. We have the bees cleared out. We're ready to go. We have everything sealed off so that the plume stays inside the hive as much as possible. And all I have to do is bend over and turn the switch and we'll be ready to go. By the way, I didn't say it before, but I have safety goggles on. These are the kinds without the vents on the sides. And of course, I'm wearing the mask. I'm holding it away from my face, but I'm about to let it go. And we're good to go. Here we go. We'll just leave the camera on. And presumably you'll be able to see everything. Now we set the timer for three minutes on the phone and in three minutes we'll come back and check that everything's going the way it's supposed to go. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can see any coming out. Yeah, five day intervals. Now you could probably turn the, uh, no. the switch off. No! You could turn? Yeah. Turn the switch off really cool down and take a while. I still see a human. 
Yeah, huh? That's good. I mean, that should have vaporized everything in that bowl. So hopefully that's residue in the box. Hey, Bob. Hey. Careful, the natives are restless. I know this is hard to believe, but I actually wore out a veil. Did you really? I did. My favorite veil, I just wore it out. It tore. Okay. Should have permeated all the boxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we should tape the wolf when we do it next time. Can you smell it at all? We don't know. No, no. It'll take your breath away. Hey, Jim, how you doing? How are you doing? Good. Okay, so 10 minutes is up. You can see the residue left in the center of the cup. And you also see there's a little powder on the device from the vaporization. From what I could see, there's probably about six dead bees total. And uh, the only thing I'm hoping is that the vaporization got all the way to the bottom. What Jim said is when you check the hive after it cools off, the powder that you see on the metal is a powder that you'll see down inside the hive where the crystals have settled. That way you can tell how effective it is. And the way we would do this is we would treat this hive today and then we would do three subsequent treatments five days apart. So we're going to get to doing the rest of the hives. And we need to open this one up because as you can see everybody wants back in.